Hey, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis spot. Chairperson South Africa supports the five focus areas and priorities of Uganda's chairship of our non-aligned movement. We thank Azerbaijan for the sterling way that they led the movement during the past three years of chairing it. This 19th summit comes at a time when the world is faced with multiple and complex challenges. The persistence of conflicts in various parts of the world, including on our own continent, Africa, sets back our development goals and reverses our respect and practice of human rights. This summit is therefore an occasion to reflect on our past achievements and to chart a role for our movement to contribute to a more peaceful and prosperous world. South Africa firmly believes that the Bandung principles on which our movement was founded remain relevant today. These include respect for the Charter of the United Nations, respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all states, and the settlement of disputes by peaceful means. These principles have been a guide for my country in its approach to peacemaking and peacebuilding in our region and beyond. Dear Chairperson and Excellencies, it is South Africa's strong view that we cannot achieve a peaceful and prosperous world without reforming the system of global governance to make it relevant to the world of today. As this non-aligned movement, we should continue to advocate strongly for a system of global governance that is fair, equitable, and has the capacity to respond to the needs of all countries and peoples. A system that is not just a tool for the most powerful countries of the world. These reforms include our belief that the United Nations Security Council is in need of urgent reform. After all, it has the unique mandate for the maintenance of international peace and security and is not of a form that is able to exercise that mandate. We believe the Security Council should be expanded with urgency to include countries from Africa, Asia, and Latin America as permanent members. A reformed system of global governance and a strengthened multilateralism will also allow us to address other major challenges, such as the scourge of terrorism, which today affects all parts of the world. We as South Africa condemn terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. In addressing regional and international security, Chairperson, we should also be resolute in standing for the independence of all oppressed people, including the people of Western Sahara. We should guard against the selective application of international law. There should be universal respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. Human rights should not be used as a mere instrument of foreign policy by the most powerful states of our globe. We applaud Uganda for identifying the achievement of the 2030 Agenda and the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals as one of the five priorities of its chairship of NAM. We are at the halfway mark before 2030 as the international community, and we have made limited progress with only 12% of the goals on course to be achieved. Collective determination is therefore needed among all states to cooperate to achieve this ambitious development agenda. All states should fulfill their obligations, in particular the rich, developed countries, 
that have made special undertakings in this regard. Chairperson, we cannot ignore or neglect the plight of the people of Palestine. We are witnessing what we as South Africa believe is a genocide of unprecedented proportions. It is for this reason that our country has referred the situation in Palestine to the International Court of Justice, where we seek provisional measures, including ordering Israel to stop its military campaign in Gaza. This also echoes calls made by many governments and peoples all over the world for an immediate comprehensive ceasefire and unhindered humanitarian access for the people of Gaza. We also call for the release of hostages held by Hamas. South Africa urges the international community to support with practical measures the establishment of a two-state within the Middle East with Palestine and Israel living side by side in peace and security. This two state to be based on the 1967 borders. It is our historic duty of international solidarity for us as the non-aligned movement to play a leading role in this matter. In conclusion, Chairperson, the billions of people that we represent here today, especially our young people, expect us to project a unified voice and act together in the advancement and defense of the collective interests of the global south. Whatever we do within NAM and at the United Nations should always guarantee our people peace, security, prosperity, and development. They expect our cooperation and solidarity to result in practical, positive change that improves their material conditions. We also need to continue to forge partnerships based on mutual respect with those outside our movement as part of our commitment as NAM to build a better world, one which works equally for all. I thank you, Chairperson and Excellencies, for your attention. So, what do you all think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Otherwise, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment if you have any other thing to say and share. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new and want more videos like this. Until next time, peace.